See now, I assumed he was then gonna make it go into overdrive and let me go for another ride on the on the Ferris wheel. No, he just kind of let me do my thing. He just kind of operated that one. But then was also a giant demon figure while I was on the other ride. So, God knows what's... Uh, oh! Oh crap, do I have to... Oh, Jesus! Oh. Well. That's also not terrifying at all. Stop hiding, Callum! Nope. Nope! Why? <laughs> nope! Not even. This isn't a game, Callum! It's very interesting, very interesting to see, like, the sort of... A lot of people idolize their children. For lack of better words, yeah, evolution of emotions. Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them, little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... <sighs> we all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything! It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned No, whoa! That's not okay. That's not an okay thing. I've got a ticket for the roller coaster. Let's go on the roller coaster. F like, I'm absolutely terrified, but you know, fake it till you make it. I'm just. <laughs> Never got around to do it before. Well, there you go. First time for everything. Like, I can imagine this is your first time encountering some sort of demon man that runs a theme park. That may or may not exist in multiple places at once, and, uh, you know. Ups and downs, let's do this. What could go wrong? Hi. What do you want? We need to talk about Caleb. Whoa, what? What do you mean? What have you done to him? Shit, what's- I, oh god, no. That's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Oh god, what- oh, oh no. I'm being punished. The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left what do you mean, a the trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. What do you mean the park is- sense. Oh god, oh god, he's behind me. Oh holy shit. Shit! No oh, mmm. Didn't. Mm, I thought it was just a voice. Fool, you always were. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! This isn't going to be fun. Oh, oh. Um, okay. That That's not over, is it? There we go. What, oh, what did that say? And what have you... I'm going to try, gonna try my best to read those doors. Alright, I'm going to get a couple while I'm here, so I'm going to try and read the doors while I go. Oh my god, I'm not safe. I can't lose my dreams. Oh. Oh, Christ. This is, oh my goodness, this is incredible. <laughs> I just want to point out, like, I'm obviously, I'm crapping myself and, and terrified about all sorts of things, but at the same time, I'm so fascinated by what's going on, the, des the sound design, the quote-unquote level design. I can't think of a better way to describe what it is, but like the structure of things, obviously like just the horrible unpleasant nature of things is exactly like I don't often play horror games I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys it's not that I don't like 
I'm too scared or anything like that. It is just kind of a case of um I'm not playing anymore, Callum. It's it has to be the right kind of horror. Like I'm not a huge fan of just kind of like half assed jump scares. They has actually on his arms, finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. I've asked him, demanded really, to know where he got the marks. But he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. He's been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, he tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. Oh my goodness. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. Tell you what? They are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. Oh my gosh. They are taking my baby away from me. I what is happening? Him. There will be pain. But I love him and in oh, the end... Oh, this part is going to be horrible. You'll understand why. Awesome. Oh, I'm so glad I'm locked in here. Right, let's just... Not rush through here, but there's no need to take our time, I would say. This isn't a game, Callum! But yeah, as I was saying a second ago, I just, I, just before the roller coaster, I am... I love... The way her emotions and the way she's talking is evolving and, and just like sort of reflecting that like, because in a lot of horror games and films there's like the protagonist or whatever just kind of has the same the whole town was shocked by that one Never the same sort of it. level of fear throughout the majority of it but already i've been playing this for like, like uh, four or five minutes an hour i can't, I can't, I can't actually honestly tell how long i've been playing for and she's gone through so much and in terms of like development uh, I'm gonna read this now. Cotton Candy Corpse leaves your taste in Park. So leaves sour taste in Park Goes Mouth. Yesterday evening, visitors to Atlantic Island Park were shocked and horrified by the discovery of a dismembered corpse behind the cotton candy stand. According to the local authorities, the corpse has yet to be identified. However, they have confirmed that the remains appear to be those of a child. Jesus. The corpse was discovered by a group of teenagers from Innsmouth. Inns Innsmouth? 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 Eldritch shit is going on. Uh, for those of you unaware, Innsmouth is, uh, is, um, what it's, it's to do with Lovecraft. Uh, who noticed a pair of ravens tugging at something just out of sight of behind the shack. Nathaniel Winter, the owner of Atlantic Island Park, has, so yeah, Atlantic Island Park has released the following statement. It is a true tragedy when something like this occurs, especially in a place that was designed to bring forth happiness and joy. The staff of Atlantic Island Park offer their condolences to the family and friends of the victim and will cooperate fully with authorities to help bring this case to rest. The Solomon Chronicle will provide daily updates on this story going forwards. Okay. Oh. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. The cotton candy place. Oh, good. Jump scare? Poor bastard. Ah! I did this to him. Oh! Hi! Chad. The chipmunk. How's it going, Chaz? How's it going, Chaz? How's it going, Chaz? Can I leave yet? Why won't you let me leave? Please, can I leave? Oh, good. Oh, good. Was that thing there before? Take pills. These are mine. But why? Well, obviously that they're not really there. That's oh. Say no to graffiti. All that you love will be carried away. 1980s. 
Are you better off than you were four years ago? Reagan, fear the bogeyman. Don't believe anything they tell you. Oh shit. What? Do I... Yeah, I'm not going towards him. That just seems like a bad idea. Uh-huh. Don't touch me. Oh crap, Callum! Oh good. Futurized by Laurel and Howdy? Belly Button is the signature of your personal creator. I believe her name was Mama. Every seventeenth child is a magnet for sinfulness made omniscient by broken fires in the coastal strain. We don't believe that the earth belongs to battered goats and shamrock afterbirth. Only the truly naked wrens of righteous indignation are severed by war-crossed cleavages in trust exercise arrhythmia? Beaumont will come to the island bearing the talisman and he will shatter the seals that binds the orthodoxy of corruption. Only then will priests shoot sluts, reveal housewives, pointificate and delayed messiahs make axles for the rescue of tango and cash sweet the temptress who grips the shaft twists the shaft absconding with third age tire into fourth age darkness while gods lie writhing on the shattered face of the earth gala has sweetness and grace but her days are numbered and heavy-fisted hives break before frozen wills and cell graphic calligraphic actresses in pencil and paper pornography the all-seeing eye will provide decade-long updates on this story going forward what in the bloody hell did i just read also callum <laughs> watch out flying printer Oh, oh crap. I don't like this world. I don't like it. Can we, go, can we go back to the less terrifying theme park? Actually, if we go back to the theme park I was going to when I was first going up the escalators, I would really appreciate that. I'd really appreciate that. Like, beyond your possible comprehension, I would appreciate that. I mean, um, yeah, well, at least, at least I'm out. The park is a collage of contradictions all of its And she's just monologuing me like that didn't happen! People die every year in car crashes. And the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. That's a very good point, actually. Bumper cars are sick! Joy. In the sideshow alley, you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. What secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears uh, of jilted lovers, probably... the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, <laughs> Jesus. the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I always despised a toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. Well, great. Are we going in there? He's waiting for me. Inside. Oh, good. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Callum? Callum? Keep them away from me. Let's just get on with it. Let's just get on with it. We're going to hate it and everything about it, but what choice do we have? The park. Goody. Oh, guys. Oh, this is so good. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> oh. Oh, joy. I have naught but my flashlight. So the only thing lit up is the exact thing I'm looking at at that point in time. Crap. <laughs> oh, but again, nothing's posing a threat apart from my own fear of progression. Oh, curse you, Funcom. You've made a delightful horror game. <laughs> Atlantic Island Park has closed its gates. A jeering throng of town folk gathered as we hung the heavy iron padlock on the gates. 
small-minded fools scared of what they don't understand. My machines lie silent and dejected, but I am not beaten. I have sent my wife and son back to Boston, and I have retreated here to the House of Horrors. I must think. So am I in, like, a future version of the theme? Callum! Oh, fuck, no. No. I'm a horrible mother. Where is he? No. 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 Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Right, and then a thing's gonna jump out at me. Oh, no, just a massive demon werewolf thing. Just walk past him. Pretend he's not there. Just walk past him. Pretend he's not there. Goddamn. Chipmunk. Oh. Oh, you bastard. Oh, you bastard. I don't know how I went all northern to swear at that one particular person. Just keep going. Don't. Don't. Oh, you're a horrible man. I don't like you. You're a horrible man and I don't like you and things are going to get unpleasant like they already are. I'm just going to keep going because the moon is... Ah! Oh my god! Just keep walking. Just keep walking. Oh god, look at the mirrors. No, don't look at them. No. Okay. Okay, just keep going. Just keep going. No, it's fine. See? See, it's fine. See, everything is fine. Everything is not fine. Everything is not fine. Nothing is fine. Okay. So that wasn't the right way. Cool. I guess we'll keep going. And eventually something's gonna come out of those mirrors and make me shit my pants. If we just keep going and... and kind of do our best to not look at the mirrors... Then... That's gonna jump up, so I'm just gonna ignore that one. Oh, my word. <laughs> like, I can literally feel my skin, like, crawling. Am I lost? Oh, don't tell me I've gotten lost in this place. I can literally feel my skin crawling. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. I knew one would eventually do it. Oh, you horrible, horrible game. Oh, just after you expect the jump scare to be is the best time to have a jump scare. And now we're going... Oh. Is that a fact? Awesome. Show yourself. Oh, so now I'm not calling out Callum, I'm calling out him. Oh, oh ooh, into the basement, even better. Oh my god. Oh, which door is gonna first open? Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Just keep going. After they let the me way of doing gave me Callum back and sent me home with Oh my god. Oh. Right, talking I'm generally means a bit of respite, so I'm just going to sit and recover. Cause, oh my god, I can literally feel my hands shaking and my heartbeat going fast. That was horrible. Only one jump, like two jump scares happened. And I've just got this. Oh. I tried my hardest to keep the ghost at bay. Oh. Darling, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum, did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now, lost and afraid. Things never got any better. Oh, I feel so sorry for Lorraine. I really, really do. This clip notice. After multiple attempts to collect payment, we regret to inform you that your service has been disconnected or disconnected shortly. Please do the following. Make the payment listed on your last bill. Contact us on 555-7868 and we can arrange a payment plan so that you can immediately be reconnected. Number two. If you believe that this is an error, call us on 555-7869. Discuss your options. If you're unable to make a payment, Please contact your local welfare office to discuss the placement for you and your loved ones. Winter in Maine is cold and brutal. Don't face it without electricity. The Dunwich... Dunwich? 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 Power Company.
The Wilting by Susan Anscombe. Okay. Oh, good. This place looks lovely. Why did they even try and open that? That's not what I want to do. What's in the fridge? Comparatively nothing horrible. I expected worse. Okay. The TV going to do something? Huh. Read <laughs> Dunwich. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Dunwich. I don't know why. Dunwich? Dunwich. Because I did Norwich, and that was W-I-C-H. No, Dunwich. The rain seems to be suffering from depression that began early in her pregnancy. Our discussions have made it obvious that these episodes stem from the grief of losing her partner, Don, who died about six months ago. There are also several unresolved issues with her father. After being kept under careful observation, we provided standard treatment for this disorder, including electroconvulsion therapy. The patient responded and made a rapid recovery. After care recommendations, weekly follow-ups with the local physician, mood stabilizers and uh, lithium-based. Discharge instructions. Lorraine has a newborn son, Callum, who was placed in foster care shortly after birth when Lorraine displayed symptoms of disorientation and depression. It is our judgment that Lorraine is fit to have her son return to her, and as long as she follows her recommended aftercare routine and continues with her medication, we have faith that she will be an effective caregiver. Lorraine has her own housing and her employer, Susie, has said that she is welcome to return to her shifts at the diner. Norma Creed, a local woman, has offered to care for Callum while Lorraine works. It is with this support network in mind that we feel confident releasing Lorraine from this institution, medication instructions. A prescription for Zolift that can be refilled at Flags Pharmacy in Kingsmouth. I think Kingsmouth might also be a... Um, a Lovecraft location. She has been. Oh no, Kingsmouth is, I believe, the first town you go to in the Secret World. Is this set in the same game, same like universe, the Secret World? That makes a lot of sense, actually. She has been advised to start with a 50 milligram dose, and then, based on the advice of her doctor, to increase the medication as needed. Stamp of approval. Miss Maillard, our inquiry into the estate of Mr. Donald Williams has been completed. We regret to inform you that the primary beneficiaries of his estate, including the life insurance settlement for accidental deaths, were listed as Rose Williams and Richard Williams of New York State, the deceased's parents. Our agency made contact with Mr. and Mrs. Williams and explained the situation, especially uh, as regards the birth of Donald's son, Callum. Unfortunately, they were not receptive to our overtures and they specified that without any legal proof of biological relationship they consider you ineligible to receive any of the monies from donald's estate they have asked that we no longer contact them regarding this matter i understand this may have a negative impact on your current financial situation and i hope that i am not being too forward when i enclose the bill for our services of this letter sincerely edward stapleton attorney probably not the best time to ask for payment like, like give it a little bit of time at least down more? Christ on a bike. Ooh, a teddy bear. Great. Not getting any flashbacks to, uh... Just... Oh, my goodness. Okay. Lorraine, things aren't right between us at the moment. I know I want to try and explain it. I think it is because I am so far from home and I am working so hard every day working at the park it gets worse like a spring inside my mind winding tighter and tighter and tighter when we go for drinks after work it gets a little better the guys relax and we laugh and we're we're good people again i don't want to know, i don't want to come home to you without being in my right mind but when this job is done we need to get out of this space we need to go back to the city or I don't feel like this anymore. I love you, Donald. P.S. I was thinking about names for boys and girls. I like Callum for a boy and Emma if it's a girl. Emma's a nice name. I like the name Emma. I have some very good friends called Emma. Wait, hang on. I'm going in circles. I'm going in circles. Crap. Cal oh, crap, Callum. Shit. Saw the shopping list. Callum. Shit. 
Okay, I thought I'd give it a look because it might have been full of gibberish, like that note that I read in the in the like little like uh, what's it called? Um, like the entertainment alley. Nope, nope. I don't care how many ducks went out one day. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. This place is not an okay place to be in. Oh, okay. And then go. Let me guess. Looping again. And one further instance of things getting weirder and weirder. Yeah. You know, demons in the pictures and also blood. And blood on the floor as well. And probably horrible things in the fridge. Alcohol on a child's painting. That well-known combination to find in a... Uh, just keep going. Blood on the chair. Something about ducks going out to play, but in reverse. It's just... The door's already open. That's... Mm. Oh, okay. God, again, yeah, the only thing holding me back is my own fear. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, this has gotten much worse. This... This has escalated very quickly. Okay, and there's a baby doll there. And there's babies everywhere. That one might have a knife. Uh, there's probably going to be something in the fridge. Oh, let's have a look. Go on, out of morbid curiosity, let's have a look. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. I mean, considering some of the other things we've seen so far. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Baby's in the oven. Oh. Okay. 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 Can we can we be done in this house yet? This is a, this is a really unsettling place. I don't care that he's not talking. I don't Okay. I mean this is better. Let's be honest. No, it's better for now. It's not going to be better in like a minute's time. Oh, sweet. Human corpses. Burning babies. Blood leading into side doors. Let's just keep... Shit, no, no, I don't like this. And the music's not pleasant. And I can't run. And the door's closed. This is horrible. This is genuinely horrible. Please open. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, okay then. I want to be out. I just want to be out of this house. That's like the one thing I want in life right now. Is I want to be out of the house. I'll be out. Oh, thanks, sweet, merciful Christ. Stories are told again and again. Oh. From their shape, we build our understanding of the world. Oh, Human my God, that was so unpleasant. Oh. Time, I've just got this feeling all over my body of just how every Childhood inch of me Atlantic is uncomfortable. Park. He wanders lost for a time before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch. In the oldest version of this story... Mother and the witch oh, right. The person. I guess, yeah, fairy tales in general. But I am. Oh, no. Aren't I? Oh, poor Lorraine. Kids broke in today. It has been so long since I heard laughter. So very long. I took one of them. I couldn't help myself. It was fast. The others didn't notice. I liked hearing him laugh. This boy from the academy. I put him on a slab. I tickled him until he couldn't breathe. My machines come to life, whirring in time to his gasps and shrieks. I think this is delightful. The change wrought in me by the machines is not yet complete. There must be other children I can lay on my slab. Whoever wrote that is a crazy person. Those gramophones aren't generally terrifying.
You know, I, I really apologize that majority of the audio from this video is just going to be me exhaling. Oh crap, I thought this was the way out. Crap, where's the way out then? Oh crap. Oh, I can't run either. I really, I really don't like this place. It's so consistently unsettling. I think it's the best way to describe what it is. Oh, I don't like that at any moment, like, a thing can just probably just materialise right in front of me, or behind me for that matter, as was the case on the roller coaster. Okay. Can I get up there? Is that what I'm supposed to go? Did I not explore far enough? Eyes without sparkle. Okay. Oh, is that like a secret bookcase thing? No? I made that up? Examine book? Hansel and Gretel, fitting book to have. Oh, crap. What? Okay. Yeah, sure. I mean, I might as well. Okay! Calv? Calv? Oh, you alright? Lorraine. Oh no, 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 no. You get him off that slab, you monster. Whatever the hell you are. Calv. Shit, no, 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 not Chad, no, not like this. Oh no. Oh crap. Oh ho ho. No, no. Don't you even think about it, you monstrosity of a creature. Can I do something to prevent this? Please say I can do something to prevent this. That can't be how it ends. No, that can't be how it ends. Um, what? Hey. No, 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 no. Did that happen? Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. What the ha- no, what's happening? What's happening? Did the- The guy at the counter? Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son. Oh no, all of this was just a defense mechanism trying to justify something that's already happened. Oh god, no, was it? In my heart and mind. Oh no. I was returned to Atlantic Island Park. Oh no, Callum. That was incredible. That was absolutely incredible. Um Was such an, that was such an interesting approach to horror. I mean, I mean, I'm not gonna try and say that this is the first time a game has ever attempted the whole like the monster is within kind of thing, but I've never seen it done in such an effective way, in such an original way. That was a really incredible experience. Um, I can appreciate that if you guys watch this, you, you've obviously you've seen how the game goes but I really encourage you to get this this was the, f the feeling of fear running through my body for the majority of that was genuinely something I haven't felt in a game in a very long I'm a I was absolutely right I haven't felt in a very long time and 
Funcom, uh, you have... This is not the first time you have made me really enjoy a genre that I'm not normally fussed about, the other one being The Secret World. I think that is one of the most unique MMOs in the world. Uh, and if you if you would like to know more about The Secret World, um, check it out on Steam or, or check it out on, on Funcom's website or just, just Google Secret World. It's a very interesting game. It is a exploration, investigation, puzzle-centric MMO, if that makes sense. I'm going to go back to the, 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 the menu here, just... I don't know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, what have I done? There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, so uh, again, it's, it's, it's a very... a very... memorable and interesting approach to a genre. Um, and it, it, as I just said, the Secret World, um, if I'm not mistaken, there's actually a tie-in with this in the Secret World from uh, an in-game perspective. So it's a case of if you own the park, you get some unique items for the Secret World. I myself haven't actually tested that out yet. I do have the Secret World, it's just a case of, um, well, I, I got this game on the day it came out. So, it was, yeah, I got the day it came out and, and recorded it as soon as I could after that. Um, and I'm, I'm, it's, if anything, it's given me a reason to get back into the secret world. Um, so yeah, so if, if you get by, if it's like a crossover thing going on there. I can't tell if this is based in the same setting as, as the secret world, but that underlying, unnatural, uneasy feeling is very familiar if you've played certain parts of the secret world. If you have enjoyed the park, or you would like to try the secret world, or you've enjoyed the secret world. No, where, where was that going? If you've enjoyed, sorry, if you are interested in the park or have enjoyed the park and played the park, um, give me a shout. Let me know in the comment section below. I'd like to know what your experience was like. I'd like to know if there are multiple endings. So if anyone's experienced a different ending, maybe I didn't do something how I was supposed to do. Let me know in the comment section, or let me know on Twitter or on Facebook. Um. This game is it's available now on, on Steam. It's currently 23% uh, off at the time of recording. Do please bear in mind that me saying that might not necessarily apply by the time that this video is being watched. Um, but it is a wonderful experience. It really is worth your time and it's certainly worth your money. Because that was... That, tell you what. No. I might add it to the beginning of the video. Ignore what I, Ignore that part. <laughs> so... If you enjoyed my videos of the park, um, like it, leave comments and feedback, and if you've got any recommendations for future Saturday specials, please let me know in the comment section below, or let me know on Facebook or on Twitter. If you want to see more Swanky Jack daily content, please subscribe to my channel, the content of which will be sort of specified and broken down on the channel advert and on my Facebook page. So if you'd like to know what I'm doing on my channel, what's coming up, check out those places. And again, if you've got suggestions for future videos, give me a shout on here, on Twitter, or on Facebook. Thank you so much for your time. I do really appreciate, because obviously this was, this was between an hour and two hours. Um, I do appreciate you sticking with me for that long. And I hope you enjoyed what you saw, because that was a really incredible experience for me. So I hope it was it was for you guys as well. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Have an absolutely wonderful day. And we will see you next time. Bye, guys.